Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How's everybody doing? How are you guys doing today? Great. Oh, that's good to hear. Let me move this around a little bit. Can't move the camera. I got to move the whole desk, you know. All right, there we go. All right, and how are you guys doing with the work? With the platform? I did work in a, I did work in a platform and I have a problem with that with that one sentence that I writing for anything and I didn't correct answer. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I don't know which is the problem, but that well, moment. We, we can take a look at it. In que sección estaba? What section was it on? Permítame, teacher. Ahorita le digo cuál. Okay. Yeah, así la podemos ver rapidito antes de que. Okay. Let me start sharing. Can you see my screen okay? Yes. Okay. So we had section one, section um, is two. Is that middle exam? For section two. Oh, the middle. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. That one is at the end of section three. Okay. Yes. And then so here, but, there is one, two, three, four, five, six lessons or six different little tests. Which one did yes, you Yes, uh, in, the, in the letter C. In the the, at the end of the sentence, it uh, uh, the juice that it light, uh, the it claps adverbial clause and with when the letter C, the last one. Mm -hmm. I don't know which is the problem because I think is it make makes me happy when a friend takes me to launch or uh -huh. out you know okay so let me see put the words in the correct order and then they give you the words y está friend la número tres verdad number three yes. friend yes, yes. me happy out when it lunch makes me a takes two. So what I think is saying is when a friend takes me out to lunch, it makes me happy. When a friend? See, let's try it like that. When a, a friend? friend takes me out to lunch, it makes me happy. All right, so crossing fingers, crossing fingers, let's see. Sweet. Oh, terrible, that was terrible. Well, we're, we're getting close, <laughs> we're getting close. Uh, in my case, I put, uh, it makes me uh, oh, happy when a friend. Okay, okay. You know, that sounds pretty good. It makes me happy when a friend takes me out to lunch. And did you put the dot? Oh, 
you got it. That was it. <laughs> so, so you know what happened? Maybe you were missing the dot. Ah, it's the opposite side. Yeah, so let me see. So I ended up putting, well, I used exactly what you told me that you were using. It, yes, <laughs> yes, it's true. Yeah, it makes me happy when a friend takes me out to lunch. That's yes. it. You got it. Yes, it's true. Maybe, maybe there was maybe a case of spelling because I think that they, for the midterm, they, they expect you to have really good spelling. Um, it could also have to do with the dot. But, yes. así como me dijo, así lo pusimos. Y yo creo que, I think that it has to do with spelling. <laughs> Maybe I put the mm -hmm. wrong letter. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe it was just a letter. And check on the dot, el punto. Porque también, yeah. también andan buscando que deje usted el punto ahí. All right, well, that was, well, that was, well now you know. So you were yeah. right, so you were right the way you had it. All right. Hello, hello, welcome everybody. Uh, we were working on the midterm. Con Anita. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good, good evening. evening. Welcome to class, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. All right, so we were working already on section number, well, section number two should be completed. We actually had, we actually completed that one. So if you guys look at the work environment, a la plataforma de trabajo, it should be complete. A mí me hace falta un video de personalities porque creo que lo, lo veo y lo, and I, I cut it off. And then, so I don't have the chequecito for that one. Uh, section two, I have it almost complete. Uh, I think I was looking at maybe an objective que no me queda, no me queda grabado, pero creo que less than objective no te afecta. And then section three, where we start to look into, could you help me out? Request with models. Let me see, is that? Yeah. Request with models if clauses and gerunds. Y luego knowledge check. Asking for favors. All right. So we start with section three. And I'm pretty confident that we are going to complete section three en estos, en estos días que nos quedan. Eh, a ver, estamos Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Nos hacen falta dos días para completar nuestra semana de estudios. And I'm pretty sure that we're going to have it complete. Eh, we can also pretty much, maybe, I think we're going to have some time to look at the midterm exam. ¿Cuántos de ustedes ya llegaron al midterm y lo están haciendo? Lo con, trabajan en él y tal vez se, se salen y vuelven a entrar otra vez. O ya lo completaron. ¿Quiénes de ustedes ya? No, yes. I already finished. I'm finished, teacher. Finished? Okay, if you guys finish, well done. Eh, ¿Quiénes de ustedes ya avanzaron hasta la sección 4? Me. Me. All right. Good, good. Well done. Acuérdense, por favor, que la plataforma. La plataforma es lo más importante. And if you guys can get that taken care of, eh, va a ser mucho mejor para ustedes. Okay. Eh, en, esta, en este día, el día de hoy, the lesson for today we are going to try to work on the request with models as much as possible. Y vamos a ver qué tan far podemos llegar con eso. Pero antes, eh, quería, eh, creo que había una pregunta que había quedado colgando. Eh, déjeme ver a dónde quedamos. ¿Qué fue lo último que vimos? Do you guys remember? The last thing we saw yesterday. Bueno, estábamos viendo los comparisons. Aquí salió una pregunta, and I, can, I, I remember that I put it here. List of words with why for exceptions. Do you guys remember that? Ah, talking about the comparisons. Okay, because comparison. you, you, had, you had two examples. Okay. I remember I asked for in, other, other words that ends in why. That, there talking we go. Talking about curly hair and happy. There we go. Okay, ah, pues yeah. aquí, aquí estamos. This is where we're going to start. 
again, con los comparisons. Acuérdense, por favor, remember, the comparisons, eh, está la palabra, y luego está el comparative, y está el superlative. Entonces, de estos, eh, it could be either an adjective, it could be an adverb, y en los videos estaban hablando de que it could be a noun, you know, it could be a verb también. So, it just depends on what you're looking at in terms of comparisons. Eh, la palabra correcta son comparatives. Ahora, no es que comparisons está malo, no, it's not. By all means, it's not, it's not. Pero cuando tú lo busques, eh, if you guys search for comparisons, usualmente siempre te sale como que una ayudadita y te dice, no, you are looking for comparative. Uh, si tú te metes a una página, por ejemplo, de grammar, and you look for comparisons, te va a llevar al, al hipervínculo eh, for comparatives. Entonces, eh, solo para que ustedes sepan, it, it, you guys could use either comparatives, que sería la, you know, the formal way of saying it, and you guys could also say comparisons, porque lo que en verdad estás haciendo, you are comparing. So, these are words for comparing, um, you know, depending on what you want to compare. So, Keep that in mind. All right, so that's that's where we left off, and I was able to find some really interesting infor, uh, some in, really interesting information for the words. So I found a few, and quería hablar acerca de la regla en sí, because this is what pretty much started our conversation. So what happens here is que dice when you have an adjective or when you have an adverb and that adverb has more than one syllable, y luego hay un paréntesis. But beware, because there are exceptions, like silly and early, y luego continúa, te dice, place more in front and most. En el caso del comparative, vas a ocupar eh, more, y en el caso del superlative, vas a ocupar el most. Ahora, lo que esto estaba diciendo is that out of all the words that exist, silly and early are the exception porque no se le pone el more y no se le pone el most. So I started looking for more words. And let me tell you that it was pretty hard because I really could not find that many words. And so I started looking at comparative adjectives and superlative adjectives. Y en esta pude encontrar que a la mayoría se le puede poner el more. So if you have an adjective and you want to use it as comparative, the majority of words do have o oh, si sí se puede ocupar more. You can say more beautiful, you can say more dangerous, um, you can say the most beautiful, you can say the most dangerous. And then the words that don't need it are, uh, I think we talked about it yesterday, happy. Happy doesn't need it because there is a comparative and a superlative. Um, so uh, just to keep track, las palabras que no necesitan que se le ponga more or most, eh, silly, early. Porque existe el comparative y el superlative. Entonces, eh, para happy está el happier y está happiest. Uh, for busy está busier and busiest. Esas ya serían dos más. Para silly está sillier y silliest. Um, eh, ¿Cuál era la otra? What was the other one? What was the other one? Um, early. Estaba earlier y está earliest. Entonces, sí, sí se puede poner de esa manera. Uh, y luego te habla acerca de these words, you know. Uh, for example, if the word ends in a Y, uh, for example, with an L-Y, then you are able to use either more or most. Pero no necesariamente is just those. O sea, sí se puede. Um, so, the example that they use here is that, for, let's see, pretty easy. Um, 
you can say it in the form of comparative. Well, big would be biggest. Easy cambiaría a easiest. Busy would be busiest. So you could, you could, yeah, so it tells you that you can use it. Uh, let me see. So it was really, really hard to get these words, especially for adjectives, because if you can see, there are, y si se puede. And what they do is they remove the Y in the majority of these. Y se le puede poner. However, when I came to the adverbs, I found a lot of these words. Look at, look at these words. So for adjective, it's really hard to find a word with a Y that you can include the more or the, mo or the most. It, it's actually, I don't know, I could, you know, if you can see here, I couldn't find an example for you guys. However, when I got to the adverbs, I see había muchas. Uh, some examples, uh, some examples I was able to find was sweetly. So with sweetly, you cannot say sweetlier or sweetliest. For that specific word, you have to use more. So you could say more sweetly, or you can say the most sweetly. Um, angrily is another one that I was able to find. Uh, you cannot say angriliest, or you cannot say angrily. Uh, angrilier, you have to say more angrily or most angrily. So, so these are some examples, and you could say that these are... Well, well, I think there are there are some. Lo que pasa que mira, there are some adjectives and adverbs that are common used, but I I think it's depending think. on the context that we are using those. I I think so too because I'm telling you I I looked and it was really it was really hard to find. So so the rule itself says if you are using an adjective or an adverb with more than one syllable, tenés que ponerle more or most. Pero hay palabras que no hay necesidad de hacer eso, porque existe un comparative y un superlative normal. Y los ejemplos que dan son silly and early, y si nos vamos a los examples, otras palabras que son happy, uh, que son busy, right? No puede decir more busy. No puede decir more silly. So, la regla en sí es, if you have an adjective and you have an adverb, y estos tienen dos sílabas, then the best thing that you could do is add a word more or add a word most to make them fit into either the comparative or the superlative. Pero hay palabras que aunque tengan dos sílabas y sean adjectives or adverbs, no se le puede agregar more or most. Y las palabras que te dicen que no se puede son silly, early, happy, busy. Esos son los ejemplos. Y si ustedes se fijan, eh, well, on the ones that I was able to find, as you guys can see, look, you cannot, um, you can, no hay palabras more or with the most. Well, I couldn't find any, right? Maybe if you, if I search a little bit more, if I have a little bit more time, I might be able to find them. But it was really difficult, guys. So, so we can say that words like happy or busy or silly or early, Estas sí se pueden cambiar y ustedes le pueden decir earlier o pueden decir earliest. 
no necesitan agregarle more, no necesitan agregarle most. However, okay. if you guys use words like angrily, bravely, carefully, clearly, easily, loudly, neatly, quickly, happily, o sea, es happy, pero esta se le cambió un poquito para happily, como happily ever after, sadly and merrily. Allí, right there, yes, you guys can add more, more angrily, or you guys can say most angrily, que es la manera más alta de poder decir qué tan enojado está, oh, está super duper enojado, está most angrily. So these are some of the examples. And, and you have, there's a few more here. Uh, let me see. Assuredly, graciously, frequently, abruptly, brightly. So when you guys are using the words brightly, you guys can say more brightly. Pero lo que no pueden hacer es, no pueden decir brightly er. O no pueden decir brightly est. Si ustedes ven alguna palabra así y le ven que tiene el er o el est, entonces está mala. Because it's supposed to be more brightly or most brightly. And so these were the examples that I was able to find. If you guys find anything else, please let me know. Porque déjenme decirle que esta sí, esta sí me costó. Y yo aquí mordiéndome la lengua por haber dicho, no, no se preocupen, le voy a encontrar un montón de cosas. Well, it wasn't that easy. Pero aquí les queda ¿verdad? un poquito más de información. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? Something that maybe that you guys, alguna duda. It could be a doubt, it could be a question, it could be a comment. In my case, no. No, okay, you're good. I friend. think, as you, as you told, as, as I told you, I think we have to probably not memorize, but we have to use the 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 common adjectives and adverbs, and with the practice, we are going to discover what sounds like nice and what what. What is not sound like, right. for example, when, when, as you told us, something like more and the adjective of more and upper, because I think it's, it's like being listening how, how the sentence sounds. There we go. Yeah, you, you can look at it that way. Now, Fer, I want you to think of it like this, right? So for the word happy, right? Well, you could say most happy, but you would have to have the correct sentence structure to be able to use it, right? Now, what doesn't sound right is more happy. And so that's, what, that's exactly what you're saying, right? Which is when you guys are listening to a sentence and you guys hear that something is not quite right, like for example, hearing the word more busy, Oh, he is more busy than everybody else. I want you to automatically think, oh my God, more busy. No, 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 no. He can't say that. He would have to change that word from more busy to either busier or busiest. And then that would be the correct way of saying it. So you're totally right with that. The more you guys listen to these words and these rules, I think the easier it will be for you guys. Um, yeah. I don't think you guys are going to hear me say words like, oh, he is more busy than me. And so hopefully, hopefully I, I don't say or I don't have grammar issues like that. And if I ever say something like that, I want you guys to call me out and say, teacher, is that how you're supposed to say it? And then let, we can go back and look at what's going on with the sentence structure. So, all right, good. Let, let's leave it at that. And just remember that on certain words, the rule is that if you have two syllables, 
or words with two syllables ending with Y, you can actually, uh, you have a couple of options, right? Uh, depending on what form you're using, depending on what is it that you want to say, and depending on whether it's an adjective or an adverb. If it's an adjective, the correct way of saying the superlative way would be to add either more or the most. Y en el caso de, eh, un, de un adverb, right? You could say that it's pretty much the same, almost, almost the same rule, because because if you have an adverb that ends with an ly, you can use the more and the most, which is the correct way of saying it. You don't change the word. You can just put more and most, and that should be enough. Yeah. So, so, ojo con eso. All right, all right. Let's move away from that one. And we're going to kick this off today. We start off with some requests using models, if clauses, and gerunds. And so I wanted to touch base on that one. And I wanted to go back a little bit onto our platform. As you guys can see, that is, um, that is le uh, lesson 3.3. .3. Request with models, if clauses, and gerunds. All right. So, this is where we're going to start it off. Before we do that, you guys know what's coming, right? You guys know what's coming. You guys know where? Oh, my goodness. Where did I put it? Where's my little story? I think. Oh, where was the story for today? Oh, no. Sorry guys, I had your story set up. There it is, there it is. Let me go ahead and move this one. This one, this one came pretty far off. Nice large presentation. Let me go ahead and put it here. And let me go ahead and save it so that we don't lose it. All right, exercise number one, exercise to get us started. We're gonna start it off with the reading. Let me see. Can you guys see my screen okay? Can you zoom out a little, please? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm almost at 200%. How about that? No. More? A little more, yeah. I think you have to move to, uh, to the right. To the right? Let's move it to the right. The, no, the other, the other, the right. other right. The other right, yeah. <laughs> Go with the other right. <laughs> I thought it was your right. <laughs> All right, how, yeah, about, yeah. how about now? Can everybody see it okay? Pueden todos ver la historia? Yes. All right. Yes. Yes. yes, okay. So let's take two minutes on this one. The two minutes start right now.
All right. ¿Qué tal? How's everybody doing? Everybody okay to continue? Yeah. Who wants to volunteer and help me read this? Me, if you want. All right, fair. Fair, read it the way it is. And if there is any cases of mispronunciation, I'm going to cover them at the end, okay? Okay. All right. All right, everybody, here we go. Fer, ayúdame. Can you please help me read this? One day there was an argument between the wind and the sun. Both said they were stronger than the other. They saw a man traveling on the road and decided to make a test to see which was stronger and able to get the man's coat off. The wind began to blow and blow very hard. He nearly ripped the coat from the man's back, from the man's back, but the man grabbed the coat and wrapped it even more tightly around himself and kept going. The wind got tired because the man just kept his coat on. Then the sun tried. He shone brightly and the cloud disappeared. Soon the air was warm and dry and the sun kept on shining. Soon, the man had sweats running down his face. He was so hot that he finally took, took off his coat and carried it, looking for a shady spot to rest. Well done, my friend. Well done. Uh, two, two words that, I, that you could probably, uh, if you work it out, you might be able to get it a little bit better. And it was this word here. Said. Said. So mm -hmm. right now you said it right. So just remember that. Just try to think about the word. Both said they were stronger than the other, right? Try not to change that. Um, said was one. Right now that you said it again, you said it correctly. And the other one was kept. Kept. Mm -hmm. There we go. You got it. So said and kept. Well done. Well done, my friend. All right. So now that we have that, let's go over to our test, the wind and the sun. Uh, let me see. It's a little bit small. Let me try to get it a little bit bigger. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, what's going on is that I get, well, my glasses, you guys, I never used glasses before until now. And so... I used to I used to have my screen and everything on my screen was really really big and so now that I have glasses I came to realize that hey man everything was really large and everything was really big so now everything is really tiny because of the glasses so I want to apologize for that and let me go ahead and put them like this maybe this will help all right so the wind and the sun were having a fight Song time or argument? Argument. 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 All right, argument. everybody, you got it. Okay. The sun and the wind each said they were smart, nicer than the other, or stronger than the other. Stronger, C. Than, the other. stronger than the other. Number C, that's everybody saying it. Okay. Number three, the wind and the sun decided to make a man whistle a tune. Get mad or take off his coat? Take off his coat. Take off his coat. Take off his coat. All right, there we go. Number four, the wind tried, but the man threw his coat on the ground, wrapped his coat around his tighter, I'm sorry, wrapped his coat around him tighter or put his coat over his head. Wrap his coat around him tighter. Everybody agree? Yes. yes. Option B. All right. Let's go with option B. Everybody. <laughs> all right. All right. Okay. The sun shone brightly and the rain fell. The wind blew harder or the clouds disappeared. The clouds, the clouds disappeared. The clouds disappeared. Okay. Yeah, you guys. Six, the sun made the man sweat and get hot, so he took off the coat. 
wrap his coat around him tight or smile and sing? Try and get hot. So he took off the coat. He took it off. Somebody agree? Everybody agree? Yeah. I want to take that as a yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there we go. Number seven. The winner of this test was the wind, man, or sun? The sun. The sun. Yes, the sun. The sun, everybody? All right, so that's. Oh, close my eyes. oh you guys. All right. It is more powerful too. Force people to do as you like, try to persuade them to understand you, or give in to people all the time. What would you guys say? I'm not sure about it. No? It is more powerful to force people to do as you like, I guess it's letter C. Letter C, I think. Give in to people. Mm -hmm. It's more powerful. Let's try it out. Let's see. Uh, oh, almost. Uh, oh, letter B. B? What, letter we, what B. do we try again? Letter B. All right. Yeah. Try to mm -hmm. persuade them to understand this more powerful. All right. All right. Good job, guys. Good job. Well done. Well done. Okay. What is the meaning of giving? To give in is to darte por vencido. That could be one way of saying it. Also, so let's say, let, let, a, a eso. Una vez más. Ceder. Ceder. Yeah, I like that. So to give in is ceder. And that is powerful, man. Think of it. Think of it like this: Joe and myself, Jose and myself, we're friends. Y yo le digo que quiero ir al cine y él me dice que no, que quiero ir a la playa. Entonces comenzamos a pelear. No, que vamos al cine. No, que vamos a la playa. No, que vamos al cine. Y al final, como yo, verdad, o sea, son años y años de estudios. Yo le digo, vaya, pues vamos a la playa, vos ganas. Pero en realidad, ¿quién ganó? ¿Quién gana? Did, did Joe really win? Me. <laughs> <laughs> right? Well, it could be, right? It could be. So, ceder, to give in. Darte por vencido también, I think you could say that. That's another way, another way of saying it. All right. Yeah, but sometimes I think that if you are happy doing something, I think, because I, I have thought a lot of times that you have to give in sometimes to be happy and to have peace in yourself. Right, right. And, and remember that sometimes to stand your ground is okay. That you can't always give in. Puchica, te agarran de, como dicen, te agarran de pato. Entonces, sometimes, sometimes is, you know, you have to stand up for yourself as well. Uh, so, yeah, I, I agree with you. I agree with you. Okay, so we're switching to the request with models, the if clause, and the gerunds. And so we're going to work our way down from less formal to more formal. And as you guys can see, we have the models, can, could, right? Is it okay if? Do you mind if? Would it be okay if? Would you mind if? Would you mind? I was wondering if. I was wondering if you'd mind. So the lower we follow the arrow, the more formal it gets. Can you lend me an eraser? Could you tell me the time? Is it okay if I borrow your shoes? Do you mind if I practice uh, violin? Would it be okay if I use one of your eggs? Would you mind if I borrowed your computer? Would you mind giving me a, uh, a massage? <laughs> I was wondering if you could drive me to the air. ¿A quién le vas a decir vos, dame un masaje? ¿A quién le dirían ustedes? 
give me a massage. Hmm. It has to be pretty personal, right? You guys have to be pretty close. Yeah. Tal vez, a, tal vez a tu hermano, right? Maybe your brother, your sister, uh, your significant other. Pero let's say we were in the bus. Y yo estoy sentado a la par suya. Y vengo y les digo, eh, mira, Anita. No, bueno, no, 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 no supiera su nombre, first of all, right? I wouldn't know your name. But imagine you guys were sitting next to me. Y I turn to you, Ana, y te digo, dame un masaje. ¿Qué me dirías tú? <laughs> I, would say, on, I would start laughing. Depends on my that message. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Okay. So it, it's really hard, right? It's really hard. So as you guys can see, this also signifies how close you are to somebody. You can pretty much turn to anybody and you can say, hey, can you lend me a pen? If you notice that somebody has a pen on his pocket, and this could be somebody in the bus, at the bus stop, in the street, at work, in the cafeteria, you could get up and you can say, hey, can you lend me your, erase, uh, your pen or your pencil? And then that person will look at you and say either yes or no, right? But you can, you can do things like that. Now, it gets a little bit harder because look, the last one that we see is the money. Who do you ask for money? My sister. Yeah, your sister, your mom. So let's say your parents, your siblings, ¿verdad? Para generalizarlo. Your absolutely best friend, your bestest friend, or a good friend, or somebody that you know pretty well. You can come and tell them, hey, can you lend me $5? Pero alguien que acabas de conocer, would you be able to ask them for $5? But Probably cuesta. not. Probably not. Cuesta un poco. Cuesta un poquito más. Entonces, we're always afraid of that. No. Yeah? Entonces, I want you guys to keep this in mind. I have some other examples which work the same way. Right? Uh, can I borrow your pencil, which was the, the example, right? The easiest thing you could do. Could you lend me a jacket? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. My jacket is expensive. You know, my sweater is expensive. Is it okay if I use your phone? Um, I'm going to tell you guys a story. One of these days, um, I ran out of battery. Me quedé sin batería en el celular. And I needed to make an emergency phone call. I needed to call my house and let them know that I was running really late and not to be worried. And so I couldn't call them and I tried to get people to lend me their phone y le pregunté a cinco personas de estas cinco personas cuántas creen ustedes que me prestaron el teléfono para hacer una llamada no one no one no 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 one Fernando's right ni una sola really? persona ni una sola persona y déjame decirte que los celulares que sacaban Estaban ah, el Nokia, aquel el Nokia indestructible que existió en los, en lo, en, en los medios de los 90, o at the beginning of the 2000s. Y que tenía el juego de víbora. Ajá, y ni, ni así. Incluso en una gasolinera, we told the gas guy que yo le iba a dar 5 dólares por la llamada. That's how important the call was. And the guy told me, no. No, 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 it's okay. And I was like, oh, my God. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Pero, acuérdense, we're, we're, we're in El Salvador, and, and it's pretty hard, you know? Ustedes, ¿a quién le prestarán su celular? My mother, bro. Your mother, okay. Maybe your best friend or a friend? Friend, no. brother, sibling? No. <laughs> no, no. No, no. Nobody. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys are tough. All right. Okay. So, so probably, a, probably a, a, an unknowing person, probably because he or she doesn't know me. But my sister or my my girlfriend, for example, no, because oh, so that one's dangerous. A, that, that, is it al revés? Entonces, va. All right. Okay. 
All right, so, so remember, that's, that's what we're talking about. These are the correct models to use and using the clause for if and then using a gerund if necessary. Um, the gerunds, you guys remember, it's uh, lending, for example. I think it's, it's somewhere here, lending. Um, letting is another one that I can see here. Um, if you guys use words like wondering, that one there, right? So it's wondering if, and then so those two become the if and the gerunds. How do you formulate it or how do you put it together? If you guys use words like can and could, um, that is informal. It's an informal way of saying something, can or could. Now, if you wanna make it more formal, you guys could say would, okay? And that's how you start off. So uh, some formal requests using the word if, is it okay if I borrow your phone? Do you mind if? I use your laptop tonight. Is it okay if you lend me some money? Do you mind if I sit next to you? Okay. Um, these are present with the if clause. Now we're doing if clauses with past. Would it be okay if I called you tomorrow? Would you mind if I borrowed your copies? Uh, would it be okay if I had a second opportunity? Request using the gerund or verbs with ing. Would you mind copying your, your workbook? Would you mind giving me a ride to my house? Would you mind borrowing your sharpener? Would you mind not having classes tomorrow? And then we move into request with if clauses using the models. I wonder if I could borrow your car. I was wondering if you'd mind borrowing me your camera. I wonder if I could answer the video book for you. I was wondering if you'd mind helping me with my homework. So these are the different cases of where you guys can pretty much use a request, incorporate an if, you can incorporate a model or you can incorporate a gerund. Some of these can include all three. Uh, so if we use the if clause by itself, do you mind if, do you mind if I use your computer? Do you mind if my mom uses your cell phone a minute? Do you mind if we compare our answers? Okay. What if that changes to just the model using the model verb? Could. Could I borrow your pen? Could you lend me a jacket? Could I use your deodorant? Whoa, that's pretty personal. <laughs> Could I use your deodorant? And then we finish it off with the gerund. Would you mind babysitting my kids? Would you mind ironing my shirt for me? Would you mind giving me a massage? These are the gerunds. So we have the three different types that we can use. And what we do is we can use any format. You just have to think about what level of formality do you want to take it to? How formal do you want to get? Because you can go from informal to very, very formal real quick. Everybody okay so far with this? I have a question. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In the previous chart, I, I, yeah, talking about would you mind, mm -hmm. for example, comparing this chart with the, with the last one, with this one, with the arrow. Okay. Can I say, for example, would you mind if, in, in this case, the example is, would you mind if I borrow your digital camera? But can I say, would you mind borrowing your digital camera? Would you mind borrowing your digital camera? The thing is that there's something missing there. So what you're saying with that is, que se lo vas a prestar a alguien más. Would you mind borrowing your digital camera? So you have to, it, it sounds like there's something missing. Would you mind 
I, but I'm Borrowing. talking about the structure because I realized in the last chart about mm -hmm. the gerund with with the gerund. Would you mind? And then we use the verb with ing. Would you mind letting in this case? Borrow. Would you mind the structure? Could be. Would you mind borrowing your digital camera? Would you mind? So it would be this one. Would you mind? borrowing your digital camera yes fair you could say it and it doesn't sound bad but what you are saying is would you mind borrowing your camera what you're saying with that is who are you letting them borrow that a quien se le estás prestando o quien le está pidiendo prestada so yes you could say it but you have to keep in mind that the sentence itself, si vos le querés decir que te la preste a ti, would you mind borrowing your camera, would not be the correct way of saying it. Ahora, si vos querés saber si en general él presta esa cámara, then yes, you could say it. Like, would you mind borrowing your camera? Entonces, somebody would say, no, I don't mind. But then you would have to come back and say, can you lend me your camera? Porque lo que tú le preguntaste es que si le molesta prestarla. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, you can say it, but it's not specific to you or it's not specific to a person. So you would have to kind of fix it and incorporate something about you to make it Para, para podérsela prestar, para que te la pueda prestar a ti. So I guess, so I, so I guess that the answer is yes, you could use it, but you got to keep in mind that the question that you're asking is in general. Do you mind letting people borrow your camera? In other words, that's what you're saying. Would you mind borrowing your camera, right? Yeah, my question was because uh, how can we know when we are going to use the gerund and when we are going to use the other option. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So so imagine, so, so based on what I told you, right? So you want somebody to lend you the camera. So imagine you were using borrowing, okay? Would you, would you mind borrowing me your digital camera? How does that sound? Mm-hmm. And so now you messed it up because you included that word me. And you, ah, yeah, you, yeah. Won't, you won't be able to use it that way. Would you mind? Ahí la tendrías que cambiar. Would you mind letting me borrow your digital camera? So you would have to change it. Ya no puedes ocupar la palabra borrowing. Porque ya incorporaste la palabra me. So, would you mind borrowing me your, your digital camera? Ya no, ya no está bien. Ya no se puede ocupar. Would you mind letting me borrow your laptop? Si, si okay. ya, ya no pudieras ocupar borrowing, would, would you mind if you're including me? You would have to change it up. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Okay. All right, so with that in mind, Fer, to close it up, I want to do an exercise with you guys. Let's see, where's the exercise? Where is the exercise? Where is it? Yeah, here it is. Oh, but this one is tough, guys. This one is upper level. <laughs> These are requests with models, if clauses, and gerunds. So I want you guys to read, but I want you guys to look at everything that's going on. And I want you guys to say, okay, well, I want to borrow someone's camera for a trip to Peru. ¿Cómo le puedo preguntar? How can I ask him? What's the correct way of asking him? And then the answer is here. Sure, that's fine, but please be careful with it. So the only thing that we have to incorporate here is the formal request. Would you mind if, and then do the answer, your camera, I'm going to Peru. 
and then we're, we can, we can, you know, we can work it out and see how that sounds. So based on what we just saw, based on these, all right. All right, would you mind if your camera, what would be the correct way of using the request using a model or a plus and a gerund or, you know, it could be, it could be one of those. What do you guys think is the best way to ask for this camera? If I borrowed. If I borrowed, okay. I borrowed would you mind if i borrowed your camera i'm going to peru uh, sure that's fine but please be careful with it okay next one you want to use someone's desk at the office is it okay is it okay if and then the word your desk and then the answer of course go right ahead a ver what do you guys think okay Borrow. If, use. if I borrow or if you use, what's the other one? Is it okay if I, if I use your phone is one example. Is it okay if I borrow is another one. Well, in this particular case, I don't think you could, you know, on one of the examples is a shoe. Can I borrow your shoe or your jacket, your phone? Is it okay if I borrow your shoes? Is it okay if I use your desk? Mm. What do you guys think? I, he I heard both answers. Is it okay if? I heard a girl that she I said use. use, yeah. I use your desk. Is it okay if I use your desk? Okay, let's leave it like that. Let's see what turns on. Okay. I need help moving on Sunday or you need help moving on Sunday. How would you ask? Would you mind and then blank on Sunday? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm busy this weekend is my answer. Would you mind? Moving me? Helping me move on Sunday? Um, would you mind? You can say moving on Sunday. Mo well, yeah, you can. Would you mind? Can you say moving me? Moving me? You know, would you mind moving me on Sunday? I don't think. You need help like, moving on Sunday. Would you mind helping me move on Sunday? But that's three words. I don't know if I can put all of that. Helping me moving on Sunday? Mm. Move because it's future maybe. Would you mind helping me with moving? Oh man, this one's tough. I don't know, guys. What do you guys think? Would you mind helping me move? Creo que escuché a alguien que mencionó. How does that sound? Would you mind helping me move on Sunday? I don't know. Let's let's. Oi, would you mind help that? Moving? Help. Como fue? Would you mind help moving me? Helping. No, it's not helping. helping. Oh my God! Would you mind helping me with moving? I don't know. I think that that might be too long. All right, let's leave it no. like that. Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. Let's move to the last one. You want to borrow someone's portable TV set? Could you please your portable TV set? And then I want to answer. I'm sorry. I like to, but it's not working. ¿Cómo se puede decir? Could you please? Lend me. Lend me. Lend me. That sounds pretty good. All right, let's go. All right, let's try it out, guys. This one's tough. This one's tough. And if we don't get it right, we might have to practice. Oh, we got the first one and the last one. Ah. All right, guys, as homework, we're going to get these and we're going to come back tomorrow and see what we can use for them, okay? Uh, please keep in mind that we need you guys to work on the template and i'm sorry on the on the on the work on the website 
remember that we are already in section three and if you guys can complete the midterm that would be fantastic so all right that's pretty much it for tomorrow we're going to try to cover that and we're going to move into either some indirect requests and hopefully we'll take the hour with that all right everybody thank you so much for coming in tonight thank you teacher thank you, thank thank you guys thanks teacher thank you good night have a good, good night. night see bye you bye. tomorrow bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.